I'm super excited about this build, y'all. Little single turbo family hall of suburban build. I think she's gonna be a good one, bro. Stay tuned. I'm trying to blow tires off this thing while picking up Ricky Bobby from school. That's the goal. What up, y'all? Hey, as some of y'all know, I bought this 2002 Suburban a few months ago. It's been sitting ever since. You can see I spray it round up underneath. That's how cool it is. Hey, but guess what? We about to put this thing in the garage and try to start working on it. I need me a family hauler, and this is going to be it. I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah, this is it. This that big Caburban. Back seat is out because the previous owner changed the fuel pump through the floorboard as if it was a third gen Camaro or something. So I'm going to drop that gas tank. I'm going to well that floor back up because I don't like having a hole in my floor of a 2002 model vehicle. Maybe if it was a 1968, I would, I would live with a hole, but I'm not trying to let Ricky Bobby sit on top of a hole in the floor. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to wear that back. And maybe even throw some seam seal on her. Yeah, but here she is in all her glory. So this is it, y'all. She a 2002 model. It's got a really full tank right now. She got this center console right there. Two cup holder. She got a tire, a seat, and a third row seat. We a couple dollars on the ground, a couple coins. I like that, me. Yeah, it overall ain't in bad shape. She needs some new little shock absorbers to hold this up with. Here she is, yeah. Even got a subwoofer. She gonna be nice for me. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, you hear me? So since this Caburban didn't have a battery in it when I bought it, this one had a core. So I'm gonna go ahead, go to O'Reilly's right quick, go swap that one out for a brand new battery. And it's gonna be so luscious. That that Suburban right there is going to start, but it ain't going to run long because it got two dead cylinders with hellacious blow bar. Ah, yeah. Shut, shut the frick up, you stupid dog. Boy, that new starter working nice for me. Let's go get that battery from Morales. Every crank like another love letter. A new battery make a Jacob thug better, thug better. Strictly about whatever, cocaine seller. What y'all think about my new earrings, y'all? Do I look like I live on the West Coast or do I live, or do I look like I live in Louisiana? Oh, look at this pop. All right, I got the goods. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. All right, went ahead and dropped the battery. Now I had to go steal some of these from that parts one over there. Let's see how she gonna go. All right. Yo, I don't know about y'all, but I feel like 99 to like 07, 06 was like the best full-size GM vehicles ever made. 
Drop it down in the comments and let me know what you think about that. Because it looked like ever since like 07, like the motors got problems. They're always making lifter noise and stuff at like 40,000 miles. I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking. These things are like 300 before they start making noise. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to be using the right, right wrench, but that's all I got right now. All right, got that negative hooked up. Let's close it up. Y'all know how we do. You ever just sit in a project vehicle before you crank it and taste your sip of Mountain Dew? 2023 mystery flavor. This is my first cold drink in almost a year, y'all. Let's see how it tastes. I couldn't resist myself when I saw a mystery. Bruh. It literally tastes like regular Mountain Dew with like a hint of blue taste. Oh. And y'all ever sit in a project car and eat chips and salsa? Because that's what I'm about to do. I didn't even try to start it yet. I marinate. I saw that chips and sauce at the dollar store when I went to go get a ladder. Well, a couple of ladders. So I can ship my stickers and whatnot. Let's taste that. Everybody know the rule. All right. So what we got? Tostitos chunky sauce of medium. Get you a nice big scoop. Man. I got to read that. 9.7 out of 10, y'all. That's a good, that's a good sauce already. Hey, drop a comment if y'all if y'all chunky boys or restaurant style boys. I'm a chunky boy. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm a chunky boy myself. I like to get a full scoop of stuff on that on that chip. I don't be playing. All right, let me go ahead and see if this thing gonna crank up because it's getting kind of hot here. Another sip of mystery, dude, just for good measures. Don't mind, don't mind my burns right there. I was from when I was well in grad do. And some slag fell down my, my sleeve. All right, let's see if she gonna crank. All right. I hear things happening. Man. Y'all hear that motor? I don't know if y'all can hear that, but she definitely got two hertz cylinders. Let's go ahead and get this thing around the garage before it kill on me. <sighs> yeah, she barely won't move, y'all. She might be stuck in the, stuck in the dirt. Man, but you got this thing been sitting right here. Oh, it killed on me. We gotta hurry up. She might be running out of gas. Yeah, she is, y'all. She's stalling on me. Come on, puppy. Come on. Just leave that right here. 
It actually killed on me before I turned it off, but it's in a good spot. I got to pull that dually out of the garage. I got to pull that 58 out of there because I'm going to wash it up. And I'm taking it to one of my buddy's car shows for my little benefit show. So I'm going to go ahead and yank that. I'm going to yank the 58 with the dually. That's going to be a cool looking little scene. Y'all almost forgot that I had that one cool wheel on it. All right, what's up, y'all? I'm back by the house. I'm busy today. I'm doing a lot. I just went food with that fire truck. That's going to be a video way later. But I went get that carburetor off of that. Got the Suburban in the shop by the lift. So I'm going to lift that up. Getting ready to come wash the dually, my trailer, and the 58. I'm going to a car show tomorrow. I'm running and rolling today. I don't know if I'm going to make a video about that. I'm probably just going to make some uh, Instagram shorts and some YouTube shorts with that little combo. That's going to be nice. The dually yanking his first trailer. All right, y'all. I got to end here. Looking good by this lift. Woo-wee! As y'all can see, I'm sweating. It's hot. We're going to go ahead and try to lift up. She should weigh 49.50. My lift rated for 10, but I don't know. Something about these big old vehicles scare me a little bit. Let's see how she lifts. What up, y'all? Hey, now that I'm working turnaround right now, I only got about an hour or so every evening to get a little bit done on this bourbon. Dish. So today, I'm gonna pull them wheels off of that. I'm gonna try to pull that drive shaft. And that's just gonna be what I can do. My goal for this part one video is to get the engine transmission out and get it sitting on my engine stand. That's my goal for this part one video. Part two probably gonna involve me tearing down this fire tree and seeing what's wrong with it. And that's gonna be it. Let's go, let's move forward. All the tires on this thing are toast, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these things off here and get them out of here. I'm gonna be looking on Facebook Marketplace for a set of either 18s or 20, like newer GM takeoff wheels. So if y'all got a set for cheap and y'all living close to South Louisiana, drop a comment. 
either 18s or 20s, like newer, newer style wheels. Come pull this drive shaft out of here. Possibly come pull all this exhaust piping out of here. At least to here. Because I want to do some speed engineering long tube headers. With this wide pipe right here. That connects to the stock muffler. Because bro, a lot of people sleep on them stock mufflers. But they flow pretty good. They're just quiet as hell. And for a daily drive, I want quiet. I'm going to go ahead and take that off and hopefully that'll be it for the day. All right, y'all. So I'm removing the, the four bolts, 716 wrench. I don't know why. I thought it would be metric, but 716 wrench fitted like a glove. So that's what I'm going to run on. Take that off of that. Put them little clamps to the side with the two bolts or four bolts. Get your, get your oil catch thing just in case when you pull that dry shaft out of that transmission, you don't know, leak grip a tail on your floor. Just like I thought, she dripping a little bit. All right. Put that. Damn, cap fell off. I gotta put all that back. Go ahead, put your drive shaft to the side. y'all after y'all bust them six 15 millimeter nuts off your exhaust manifolds and your two back here this section of pipe should be loose i'm trying to figure out how to finesse it out of here but it looks like i do have to drop this cross member so let me go ahead and drop this cross member and get that out of here I pull that transmission mount null out of that. 15 millimeter. So you take one nut off, then you gotta hold back up on the other. Bounce with it, bounce with it. These things come apart pretty easy. Man, what the hell was that? Something in my mouth. I was saying these things come apart pretty easy. I don't know, first time ever fooling with this. I always just pull the motors out of these things and send them to the scrapyard, but this time I'm trying to drive them. Let's go ahead and drop this cross member down here. And I'm hoping this this oil pan will sit on this cross member underneath this motor.
All right, y'all. It did exactly what I was hoping. The motor's hanging by that cross member, bottomed out on that oil pan. Let's pull this off. Got this. For them, them cats are broken. You hear? Hear that cat? All right. I'm gonna call it quits right here. Go ahead and support this transmission and the engine combo. And I'm gonna go ahead and go inside for the night. Knock me out. Nice little hour in the shop. Cause I'm working till six o'clock right now. So ain't got much time in the day. But I'm still trying to get y'all some nice little footage, bro. Hey, go ahead and drop that subscribe, bro. Hit that button. Drop me a little comment. Say what's up, Jacob. You, you stupid as heck. Whatever you want to say. That's it, y'all. That's it for the day. I don't know what I'm going to try to do tomorrow. I might try to get that transmission out of that tomorrow. Typically, I would just pull the engine and transmission as one, right? But I'm trying to leave the red end of the condenser. I'm trying to leave all that in there. Because the, the AC is charged in this thing. And y'all know it's hot down here in Louisiana, so I'm not trying to buzz that air conditioner. I'm trying to leave it. But this Suburban got front and rear air conditioning. Bruh, it's like I'm living in 2035, bruh. I'm fancy as, I'm fancy as I don't know what. That's it, y'all. All right, love y'all. Peace. Take it easy. Do something productive today. Later. What's up, y'all? Tuesday the day come and knock me out another hour in this garage. Let's go see if we can pull that transmission out of there. Another day. Ooh, boy, working six to six got me kind of tired. But look, we gotta get stuff done. Let's yank that train it. First, I'm going to drop that thing right quick, lower it down, undo that battery before I come pull that starter. My goal for the day is I'm going to pull that starter, pull them flex plate bolts, pull the cooling lines, undo the bell housing bolts, and that tranny should fall out. And undo that electrical plug on there. Y'all know the game. I'm trying to pull this motor out of there with the hood still on, y'all, so... If y'all got a 99 or whatever this is, or 06 or 07, y'all gonna need to watch this if y'all wanna pull that motor with the hood still on. That's what I'm about to be doing. You gotta pull a trans though, gotta pull it separate. Can't pull a whole thing. I ain't trying to take the grill and all that out of it. All right, let me get to work, y'all. All right, grab y'all a little 13 millimeter socket with y'all ratchet and buzz them startup bolts loose. All right, now that they broke, I'm gonna just zoot them out of there. Starter is out. I gotta take off this little inspection cover, then I could get to them flex plate bolts. All right, I gotta try to turn this motor over and get this bolt lined up. It's right there. And you could easily put a 4L80 in here. Hey, that's for sure. I'm definitely putting that 4L80 in here. Let me spin it over some more. Get the other three out of there. And uh, either three or two, I can't remember. And I'm going to skip to the next part, y'all. Let me get these out of here. Later. All right, y'all. So... I got all the electrical connections off this transmission. I got this little gear selector. And look, if y'all trying to unplug them wires, they not gonna come out of there. If I remember correctly, they got some sort of glue holding them in there and you gotta like use a torch to like melt the glue 
before you could pull them connectors out. So don't go cutting wires and breaking stuff. Just undo the gear selector off of that and let it hang with them two bolts that you got to take out. And if you do have to take this off of that, just go ahead and heat that plug up a little bit, melt that glue that they use. That's it. So now I got 400 foot of extension and I'm coming to take them bell housing bolts out. Barely getting on there, y'all. I gotta get another strategy going. All right, let me try this all the one right quick. Yes, indeed. All right, what's up, y'all? I just about got all the bell housing bolts. Can't talk right now. I got three of them left in there, but before I do that, let me come drain this transmission right quick. I know that's the drain plug right here. I'm not used to that because I'm used to turbo four horns and all that. Let me come drain that to not make a mess. Come on, come on, man. God, almost made the Suburban fall on top of me, man. Let's drain this thing. Ooh. Ooh, that's burnt. Boy, don't y'all like a drain plug on a transmission? Give it a wipey booty. It's like wiping a baby's ass cheek. After you change the diaper. Roll that out of the way. Put your transmission jack under there. Bop them three bolts. And this transmission ought to get out my way. She's lowering down. Kind of sketchy right now because I got her on a block of wood and I don't have my chains on, so I'm scared right now. Alright, 4L60E is out of this thing. 
Go ahead, throw this in the scrap pile, and I'm going to put a foil eight in this thing. Yeah, y'all. I don't know if y'all ever took these quick connect ones out, but all they got is a little clip. Pull that clip, and them things come straight out of the transmission. Easy peasy. And this is what you're going to have left behind, y'all. Yank that motor straight out the top. Not bad for another hour or two of work, y'all. Tomorrow, I'm going to work on yanking that motor out. I don't know if I'm going to get it out or not, but it's looking pretty promising. This, this vehicle is pretty easy to work on. I'm not going to lie. Get y'all. All right, y'all. So that's it for Tuesday. I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow. Ladders. What's going on, y'all? Got a couple things I want to do today. Number one, drain that coolant out of that, which I'm doing right now with my bad tub from Dollar General. Y'all like that? It seemed better days. It kind of flew around the yard and all that when we had a storm. So I want to drain that. Check this out. So if you take the transmission out of these cars, you could pull this engine without taking the hood off. All I got to do it look like is take that bolt out, lift that hood straight up vertical, and replace that bolt and mount this spring in this hole. And this hood should be vertical. I want to take this off. Maybe a couple other little knickknacks. But yeah, my goal for the day is food this hood, drain this coolant, take a few little plastic pieces off. I wasn't able to work yesterday. It's Thursday the day. Yesterday was my dad's birthday, so we went to eat over there, eat some cake and all that. So that's where I was yesterday. So I took a little break. Uh, getting back with it. Hopefully I'll get this uh, Thursday the day. I started this project Monday. Hoping I could get this motor yanked out of here by uh, by at least Sunday, you know. I'm working a turnaround right now. I'm working six to six every day, seven, 12. So for the next month at least. So bear with me y'all, working every day, still trying to get good look content out for y'all. So yeah, go ahead and hit that like button for me, bro. I'm trying, well, peep me out. She pee peeing, y'all. Try to get this off of the cool. motor about to fall out of that bus. All right. Ooh, wee. Chicken cheese, tender biscuits. Got that out. Put that right here. Get that hose out of there. I undid it over here already. Get that shim it up. Come on, bib. Come on, bib. There we go. Get that upper rad hose out of there. Dang, y'all. Watch y'all self on this when y'all yank this off of there. <whistles> Boy. 
Oh, that thing hurt. I don't know what I hit it on. I must have hit it on this edge right here. Go ahead and yank this out of it. That's out of there. Won't be needing that. Because I made up my mind putting a turbo right there. Yes, indeed. You heard it here. A little turbo action. She's going to be nice. I'm going to get like the cheapest eBay turbo log you've ever seen on this thing. After you take your two bolts out with your 10 millimeter socket, go ahead and yank this out of here. I ain't putting this back because I'm going to be upgrading to electric fan setup, one of the factories from like a 06, 07 truck. Got to do away with this junk too. All right. I'm about to come take this fan clutch off of here. If y'all ain't never done that before, all you got to do is get you a pipe wrench, jam it up right there. Get you either a big old crescent wrench or an inch and three eight wrench. Jam that pipe wrench up. Give it a nice little break. And check it out. You taking it off. Simple as that. The key is jamming that dang uh that dang pipe wrench right there. Once you do that, you go. Let me finish taking it off, and I'm going to see y'all in a little while. All right, once you get your fan out of the way, you can pull that lower shroud out of the way. Bruh, I'm super excited about this build, y'all. Little single turbo family hall of suburban build. I think she's going to be a good one, bruh. Stay tuned. I'm trying to blow tires off this thing while picking up Ricky Bobby from school. That's the goal. Oh, well, yeah. Back in the shop. Saturday night. I didn't do no work in here yesterday because uh, me and the family went eat at La Carretta's. Eat a couple of tacos. You already know. A couple of tacos. That's whatever. Low energy right now, y'all. Working these 12-hour days got me a little tired. Yeah, I'm going to be on turnaround for the next month working 7-12. That means seven days a week, 12-hour days, if y'all didn't know that. Yeah, so I'm still trying to get it how I live. Trying to work on... <coughs> Trying to work on these cars for myself. Trying to work on these cars for y'all. Give y'all something to watch. That's why I want y'all to hit that like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Take a lot of work. Yes, indeed. All right, well, let me dig into this thing. Try to lift that hood up. Take the front accessories off, I think. Take the air conditioning off of that. And the intake. Should be ready to pull. Yes, indeed. Ordered that turbo today. Got me a VS Racing 78-75 Gen 2.5 turbo. I think it's going to light off this bourbon pretty good. That's all I can say. Trying to do this thing. I call it a budget, but for me, my budget might be different than your budget. But, like, I'm going to do the $125 turbo log off eBay. A VS Racing Turbo. I will have a decent engine with at least a forged piston in that. I would never turbo a LS motor without a forged piston. That's just me. I blew up two of them already. I don't want to blow up three. So that's where I'm at. At least a forged piston. And I already got the motor, right? I just got to put it together. Hey, let's get started. Ooh All right, y'all. I just verticalized this hood here. As you can see, I moved this from this hole, stood that hood straight up, and moved it to that hole. Now, check it out. I could yank that motor without even taking the hood off. Ooh -wee. 
Just do both sides and it's gonna hold it up. Of course you can't have the transmission on it, but at least you ain't gotta take it off. Let me show y'all what I did here. All right, I removed that expansion tank, undid a couple hoses, made some mess. Uh, next, I wanna come take the belt off, that AC compressor, and a few other odds and ends. Socket and ratchet, drop that belt off of the, you already know. Throw that to the side. Take this off of there, take that, and get your AC belt off. Alrighty, y'all did a little bit off camera because this is kind of hard to film right now. There's no way to put the phone while I'm doing this work. So I'm going to give y'all a little taste because it's really not that, that great video anyway, right? Got the AC compressor loose. Pulled the power steering pump pulley. Got that off. I'm going to take them three bolts out. Put my power steering pump to the side. And that's the way you do the glide. All right, let me give y'all another little update on it. Got the water pump off, alternator bracket. Got the power steering pump out of the way. Started undoing all the throttle cable and stuff. Let me go ahead and start getting all this stuff off of here so I can pull his intake. And then, she ought to be pretty close to yanking, y'all. Not too much involved with this. All right. Y'all know when we start getting a mess happening on the floor, work is being done. All right. Got the intake off. Boy, these engines got a lot hooked to it. What the hell is this evap? Throw that in the garbage. Y'all already know. But yeah, we looking good. I'm gonna try to get the video out probably Monday night, yanking it off. Saturday tonight, tomorrow, I should be able to yank this mold out of here if everything goes as planned. So, Stay tuned for that, y'all. It's about 9.30 right now. I'm going to bed. Peace, y'all. See y'all tomorrow. What up? Back at it again. Sunday night. Worked all day. Went to take me a little shower to freshen up to come back outside and sweat some more so I can yank this more. Hey. I promised myself I was gonna yank this mold out in one week. I started Monday, here it is Sunday. Try to get this video out tomorrow for y'all. So, came out in the garage a little while ago, off camera, I removed the exhaust manifolds, Man, look at all that came out of this intake, y'all. What the heck? Undid all the rest of the wine and grounds and all that that's connected to this thing. So essentially, right now, I should hook up and it should yank out of there, y'all. Well, take that back. I gotta undo them tree bolts right there on each side. And then we picking, y'all. That's where I'm at. Got to get my engine hoist set up, make a little room, and I'm going to show y'all this yank. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, a little quick tip. You're going to need an extension, a swivel socket, and a 15 millimeter to get these three bolts out that hold the engine mount. They red lock tied it in there. Pain in the butt. All right, y'all. About to try to yank this thing out. Wish me luck.
This thing is tucked underneath that firewall super hard. Ain't like no old school that I'm used to, yeah. It's crazy though. This is my first vehicle that an LS motor ever actually came in that I'm building, right? It's weird to me. Seems like it's gonna be cheaper, yeah. You ain't gonna buy all the swap stuff. It's made to go in here. So, I think this is gonna be a pretty fun build, y'all. I'm not doing nothing new. I'm not recreating the wheel. I'm just trying to have a cool little family haul that makes noise. You already know. Hey, drop a comment down in the comment section. What is y'all dream family hauler? If you could pick one. Could be old, could be new, could be foreign, I don't know. Hey, let me know down in the comments what y'all dream family hauler would be. some rags in the coolant portrait quick. All right, y'all, it's coming up pretty good. Let me show y'all how it look. I just gotta make sure I ain't pulling on nothing, you yeah? know? Ooh wee! Let's try to scoot it back a little bit. We already done leaked the gallon of cooling on the floor. You always think you get it all out, huh? Never. Do. Bruh, y'all know how much easier it would be if I just had somebody that could film me at all times, bruh? I need a damn movie crew over here. Trying to figure out where to put this phone is really starting to bother me. And I feel like it's not showing my best work. Uh-oh, uh-oh, something popped loose. Gotta watch that radiators. So many wires, so little time. Yo, this thing will be fun going back in. I ain't gonna lie with you. Let's check the other side. All right, everything's free. Not pulling nothing. Looking good, yeah. All right, y'all, just about got her all the way out. Trying not to tear nothing up. Getting tight between here and that cow. I 
Oh, yeah. Got it. What y'all think about it? Y'all love it? Well, guys, as promised, part one, gonna get this mold and trans out of here for the start of this Turbo Family Hall build. If y'all wanna follow this series, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, y'all. There's gonna be one you don't wanna miss. I'm telling you that right now. Yeah, y'all. But take all the accessories off this engine. Get everything cleaned up. Might do a little cleaning under hood area. Maybe. I don't know. Can't promise you. But yeah, y'all. I'm overall happy how this motor came out. I did this every day after work. All week. And I'm working 712. So if I could do it like that, y'all could do it regular. Just got to get up off the couch. Get in that shop. It's kind of easy. You got to set aside, hey, one hour a day. An hour a day, keep the doctors away. That's what I, that's what I always said back when I was in elementary school. But yeah, y'all. Thanks for watching this part one. Stay tuned for part two, where I open this mold up and see what the hell wrong with it. Later. Love ya.